Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Okay, so we got one of these classic Trans Ams in the shop. And the customer, the client, uh, basically mentioned to me that their previous mechanic had told them that they needed to take this, um, this motor out or actually pull it up from the motor mount in order to get this uh, header bolt in place, which is this guy right here, right? Obviously this is a new one. As I was trying to install this header bolt from underneath, I noticed that it was starting to get real hard to go through, you know, going up like that, right? So the reason for all that drag as you're trying to go in is because there hasn't been a bolt in this hole for a very long time. That means there's gonna be a lot of buildup in this hole of, of rust and debris, dirt and all that stuff, right? So what I did was I took the spark plug out. So right down there, spark plug goes down there. You see the hole? Okay, so the spark plug goes there. I took it out. And then what I was gonna do is I was gonna run a, a tap through it, but I noticed that it didn't fit, okay? And a lot of people don't have these fancy tools, right? So I was gonna do that, run the bolt from the top down but or run the tap from the top down but can't get this to fit right so what you can do in the event that you do not have a tap and you need to clean out your threads is get yourself an old bolt okay and this one i took this bolt out of the front over here uh, because the client bought a new set of header bolts and what i ended up doing was i took that old bolt out and i'll just replace that with a new one but what I did was I uh, got my cutoff tool and I put two slits, okay? And what you're essentially doing here is you're creating uh, a thread chaser or, uh, or a tap, right? So as you can already see, if I bring you up close to this bolt, there is debris and trash already in this track, okay? And what I did was I basically, let me set this bolt down. I ran this bolt, sorry for covering right now, but let me switch hands here. I ran this bolt down. Alright, so I ran it down in, and of course it got hard, right? Just like the other one did. And I got me a ratchet wrench, right? So I ran it down and it was really hard and I couldn't do this the way I'm doing it right now. So as I was going down into this, uh, this hole, it got real tight before this, this spot that I'm at right now. So I was moving like, like real slow like that, okay? And now I can, I can move through. Why? Because all that junk that was in the threads or in the in the threads of the hole is now cleaned out with the little slits that we did on this bolt so you see it, it traps all the junk and all the trash that was in that hole as you can see there so it's all packed in there you make four even better but generally I find that two is good enough to get the job done unless there's a lot of nasty crud inside that hole. Then you might need to clean this bolt out a couple of times before you can run it all the way through. But now as you can see, it's very easy to run this bolt in and out. And now I can simply grab the other bolt that I'm gonna use. And now I can run it in very easy because the old bolt did the job of cleaning out these threads okay and yes i know this bolt goes to the bottom here but i just kind of wanted to run it in just so you guys could see that it does go in but anyhow um i will now run this bolt to the bottom up and now the client will not have manifold leak or exhaust header leak anymore so guys now you know how to clean out the threads on a hole that's been exposed to the elements for a very long time without spending any money. Well guys, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out and it, and it helps that YouTube algorithm know that this is good content. Until next time, y'all be good.